about Jesus is he knows how to take nothing and make it something, right? Now listen, those of you that didn't clap on that part, maybe you ain't never been through nothing. Come on. Maybe you ain't never been nowhere. Maybe you deem yourself having come into this world perfect. You know, there are people like that, that feel like, that feel like, you know, yeah, I'm saved, but I was never really all that bad to begin with. So God didn't have to do a lot with me, you know? It's people that feel that way. But I was messed up. I was real, real special, right? I was told that God could never use me. I was told that by my leaders. They told me, if you want God to use you, you're going to have to go somewhere where nobody knows who you are. Right? But aren't you glad that people don't get the final say? Come on. Aren't you glad that people don't get the final say? And you know what? I, I heard what Pastor was saying when he was up here talking about how when you find purpose and you do what it is that you've been called to do, your past becomes obsolete. Hey. Isn't that what he said? Yeah. He said your past becomes obsolete. And see, a lot of times people try to remind you of where you've been and what you've come from. That's because they're still where you left them. So they're only reference. It's where you used to be. But see, you can look the enemy in the eye and say, I don't look like what I've been through and I'm not yeah. who I used to be. Wait. Come on, Tammy. And there's something about, see, Jesus has been my savior. He's been my healer. He's been my deliverer. But he's also been the potter that took every broken, fragmented piece of my life and put it back together again. And here's the thing. Most of it he had to scoop up off the floor. I have been discarded and pushed aside and, and, and left for dead spiritually, emotionally, mentally. But God looked at me and said, that's not trash. That's filled with purpose. Do I have any, any people filled with purpose in this room tonight? 